Our next inventor first toyed with aluminum tennis rackets and then golf clubs, and finally, after a lifetime of experimentation, John Mott thinks he's hit it. The English inventor is taking on Lego, the most successful construction toy company in the world. He has patented a building block system with just three basic shapes. When John Mott takes a ride, he doesn't like to be alone. In fact, he always has a companion. It's just that this companion is a little unusual. He calls her Isabella, the Mottic Maiden. An extravagant, eye-catching example of what you can do with three basic building blocks. We have a cube, right? Everything is 25 millimeters, doesn't matter which way you turn it. A cube, and we have a triangle. And the triangle is exactly the same size as the cube. It's 25 millimeters. Doesn't matter which way we turn. It's equilateral. And when you join it together, what we do here is take a joining piece, which allows it to be joined many, many different ways. And we join this piece to this piece, simply like this. And then if we take 24 of those pieces, you can simply make a cockerel, for example, or a nice geometric shape or a spaceship, something like that. Or if you don't like that, then we have something like a man here. Altogether, we've achieved 1,218 different toys using the same 24 pieces. John Mott's blocks had their beginnings at a dinner party where he was challenged to invent something from scratch, anything that came to mind. From that dinner party the following morning, I just sat there with a blank piece of paper, said, right, let's invent something picked up a mail order catalogue, the biggest section there was toys, and I just tried to improve on, on what was there. The result was John Mott's unique building blocks. It took me 40 minutes, I realised that most of them had got a triangle and an equilateral triangle. None of them were modular, so uh, the initial idea was easy, but to get it right and to think it through took two years. He used the best researchers he could find, his kids. Triangle. The key was the triangle. It allowed curves to be built. It also can be used as a cog. So mechanical models are possible. The joining system was strong and gave the models a robust quality. The versatility of the three basic blocks is limited only by the imagination. The toy market was impressed. John Mott's company now manufactures more than a million pieces a week. And that's allowed him to scale up, literally. Well, they're exactly 10 times the size of these regular blocks. They're 250 millimeters compared to the 25 millimeter ones. And while we're at it, we made sure that they were entirely compatible and we can lock into them like that. So what we're now gonna do is just confirm once again, we can build virtually anything with this and we we'll turn it into a rocking horse right now. They're great for kids of all ages, but he believes mighty motics, as they're called, may have more important applications. We can make them in uh, concrete or all sorts of other materials, hard-wearing materials, clay, and so on. And it's a very easy construction system, as we've seen. So you build a dwelling or an outhouse or a barbie or something like that. And if you don't like it, then just change the shape. If you do like it, then hopefully just add water. That's the way we're uh, going to be developing it. Giant Mottic construction sites are still in the future, but John Mott already has a proven track record and quite a few ideas for the road ahead. One of his simplest is to replace the flashing lights attached to road cones with an energy efficient alternative. Well, this is called a rotor light. It's a uh, wind driven road safety device. And the idea came to me when I was on the motorway recently and saw a battery operated lamp flashing in the daytime, which obviously is a complete waste of money. So I thought if I can come up with something 
uh, energy free, goes round and round in the wind, all day long, all night long, and uh, flashes against headlights. With all this inventing, you might be asking, how does John Mott relax? Back up. Golf is his passion, but he just couldn't leave that alone either. Here's a credit card T that could carry your company's logo. Or how about the T that works no matter what the angle? John Mott's golf handicap will have to wait. And you can see the blue and red. What we're going to do is demonstrate how we make purple. These days, his time is consumed by the growing popularity of Mottic blocks. Taking on one of the most successful toys in the world is challenging, but he doesn't take the credit. He says the real inventions take shape after children have his blocks in their hands. Oh, it's enormous, the satisfaction that you get watching kids playing with it and using my ideas to make their ideas. It's, it's phenomenal, unending. John Mott is now adding more shapes to his building blocks. One is the wheel pretty good place to start.